the silent killer that is air pollution. Long-term exposure reduces life expectancy, leading to around 30,000 deaths a year. The likes of the Tyne Bridge, Blackett Street and Stevenson Road have all been named as some of the most polluted areas in the city. The government has since directed three North East councils to bring levels down. And I appreciate that changing traffic, and in particular, um, making sure that only certain types of vehicles can come into parts of the city centre is going to be controversial. We're aiming for an implementation date of January 2021. And what that will mean from that date onwards is that older vehicles, who are the most polluting vehicles, won't be allowed into the city centre. Now, this only applies at the moment to goods vehicles, buses and taxis. We've not at the moment included private cars in this, although we reserve that option in the future if these measures don't improve air quality as much as we would like. One of the proposals that we're going to do more consultation around is giving public transport priority to one lane each direction across the Tyne Bridge so that buses in particular can get in and out of Newcastle quicker. And hopefully, if we give priority to buses across the Tyne Bridge, that will encourage people to make their journeys by bus because they'll appreciate it's quicker than sitting in a traffic jam for 10 or 20 minutes.